Hey everybody, we've had a lot of questions lately and a lot of discussions on Facebook about um, bullying with back to school. And of course, we've been talking a lot about what kids can do to defend themselves from bullies. We teach martial arts. We obviously, uh, we absolutely think that um, giving the kid the physical skills to have the confidence to stand up for themselves is one of the, the best forms of self-defense. Um, but not everybody's going to do martial arts. It's not for everybody. And uh, a lot of parents are asking, you know, what can they do to help your kids out when school starts up and you start hearing about the bullying that may or may not be going on. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about the uh, teaching martial arts to the kids later in another video. Uh, but I made some notes here about some of the things that we've been talking to a lot of parents about. Um, the first thing I want to do, though, is I want to start off by saying that... <clears throat> Um, over the years that we've been teaching Gracie Bullyproof and our, and our self-defense to kids, the, I think that the Sioux City schools have gotten better and better about dealing with bullying. And generally speaking, almost every teacher that we talk to or that we interact with takes bullying very, very seriously. And they really do want to stop it. And, uh, and they do want to help your kids out. Um, but, whether it's at school with the teacher or sometimes maybe we're even talking about an after school activity, some other sport or some place that they go or daycare or whatever. Um, there's kind of a, a couple of traps that, that people fall into or a couple of ways that maybe they look at it differently than you might. Um, sometimes when somebody sees bullying, it's just easier to assume that it's just kids being kids. Um, if as a teacher, they may not recognize that your child's feelings are being hurt, and maybe it's just, you know, something that's maybe they don't feel like it rises to the level of importance. Or sometimes it's easy to look at a situation and see that or feel like it's both kids doing things to each other. So maybe, maybe we've got a little column A and a little column B and we feel like it's sort of 50 50 and we're not in and maybe don't see it as a bullying situation. Or sometimes even the adult supervisor, whether that's teacher or whoever, um, we'll see a child who maybe is a little bit different or is into something in different activities or whatever the case is. And they'll see it as a little bit of them bringing it on themselves. And, uh, you know, there's all of those things maybe have an element of truth. But the reality is that your child has the right to not be bullied, not be picked on. Your child has the right to go to school and not feel like they're going to be uh, embarrassed and not feel scared, um, not be frustrated and upset every day. Um, so your child has that right and, and your teacher would always agree with, with that sentiment. Um, the first thing you have to do is you have to talk to your kids. Um, my, many, many episodes of bullying uh, go unreported. And I mean unreported to the parents. The kids just suck it up. They feel bad. They maybe even act out. Things are, you know, their grades are getting worse and we don't know why. And they don't say anything to the parents. Um, it's a little bit of the tattletale thing that they learned when they were maybe in elementary school. And so parents, it's it, primary importance to explain to your kids that you want to hear about it. You want to help them fix it. It's not right. And uh, they need to feel comfortable coming to you and telling you um, about whatever bullying situation they're having. Um, the next thing that we're going to recommend is, is parents talk directly to the teacher. Uh, don't do it through your kids. Don't have your kids send messages to the teacher or whatever. Just talk directly to the teacher. Most teachers are very, very open to talking to parents. Um, be really, really clear about what you think is going on. Talk to the teacher and find out, you know, what their opinion is about what's going on. Um, but be very clear that, that uh, something not right is happening. Um, make sure that when you talk to the teacher about it, ask them very clearly what action steps they're going to take. What are the steps that are going to happen? You know, is the, te is the teacher going to talk to the other kid, pull them aside? Are they going to call the other kid's parents? Are they going to bring your kid and the other kid um, into the room together to talk? Which, if that's the case, that will be something that maybe you want to be present or maybe you want to prepare your child to be ready for that. Um, and then schedule a follow-up with the teacher. You know, if this is going to happen on a Wednesday, hey, can I give you a call on Friday and just see how it went? Let's talk about it. And uh, that just makes sure that... Um, what, what the teacher stated is, is really, um, what happened. It's very easy. It's very easy sometimes to, uh, um, you know, kind of 
be non-confrontational, I think. Um, if you feel like the teacher is not taking it seriously, don't hesitate to go to the next step up. Talk to the principal, talk to um, whoever's above them at the school, um, whoever it is. It's your job to protect your kid. Um, it's their job to protect your kid. And if you feel like they're not doing that, then, then you do what it takes. Um, with that being said though, uh, bullying is a really, is a real hot button word. So make sure to use it wisely. If you're going to use the word bullying, um, that takes a situation of, you know, two kids arguing or fighting or picking on each other and makes it into a potential legal or, um, sort of lawsuit type of scenario. Not that you would apply a lawsuit, but that's, um, as soon as you use the word bullying, people, uh, perk up and take it much more seriously. So, um, Use the word bullying when it's appropriate, but don't be the boy who cried wolf either. Um, so just be careful to use that word appropriately. Um, the, next, the last thing is, what about talking to the other parent? And uh, we always recommend that we talk to the teachers first and see if the teacher can resolve it. It's easier to have a third party take care of it. Um, if you do want to talk to the other parent, just do it. Uh, just be careful how you do it. Remember that sometimes otherwise good kids can become bullies or exhibit bullying behaviors or they're trying to make their friends laugh and this is how they've discovered to do it. Um, and so if this kid doesn't have a history of bullying, um, you can see how the other parent may get defensive when you bring it up to them and then of course may it may not go the way you want it to. Now, oftentimes when we do talk to the other parents, the other parents take it very seriously and that fixes it very quickly as well. So just be a little judicious about talking to the other parents, be careful and uh, understand that they may be defensive. And um, the last thing I would say, of course, is uh, martial arts is, is our preferred method to give your child the confidence to also then be able to stand up for themselves. Um, a lot of bullying can be taken care of um, by somebody who just has the confidence to say, you know what, that's not right, I don't like it, and you need to stop. So we'll talk about that in a future video, and I appreciate your time today. Thanks.